You may know Rahul from The Haunting of Bly Manor or iZombie. Anybody who's in the, the Star Wars world knows that uh, Rahul Kohli is a huge Star Wars fan. So when we talked to him about making a custom Super 73, I wanted to kind of surprise him. Now he knows that it's gonna be blacked out. He knows that it's gonna have a really cool Imperial cog right here. But what he doesn't know is that we brought in lightsaber technology to the Super 73. Oh man, so this is where all the tech is. On the outside, all you see is a button and a switch, and the switch is for the lights, the buttons to control our sounds, but all the logic is inside this guy. The inside is really the, the inside of one of those lightsabers. We had this custom lightsaber maker. He did a custom board for us. It's just like now the inside of a lightsaber is inside here, so we can control it as if, you know, he had a lightsaber, but now it's, now it's a bike. We got speakers wired up, all of it's in here which is it's pretty nuts. What John gave us was actually just a board. Um, so it's like just a little a little red thing. And he was like, all right, these are the pins that you care about. Uh, this is where you put power. And I was like, okay. So we had to add two extra power converters from the battery just so everything can, can work together. The wiring was just like everywhere. It was a rat's nest of wires just going everywhere. And then we had to put lights all over the place. We had to end up hiding it with all of this loom, which kind of looks the part, um, but there's actually just like tons of wires crammed in all that. And then like with a classic wiring project, every single thing can short, and it did. We wanted it to work separately from the rest of the bike, so as long as the bike is on, it's active. But once you turn the bike on, there's a startup sound. This big red button right here turns on your ongoing sound. So right now it defaults to a speeder bike. And then the horn button we changed to uh, let you modify your sound. So there's a little bit of extra stuff, like I can shoot, I can shift. Um, and while this is all ongoing, the, the lights also work. Yeah, we got some extra buttons here, or some extra sounds. And, uh... When Michael gave me the input that Raul was looking for, we just decided to go with an all black theme and then just focus on real key accents to get some color in there. This bike actually has a lot of 3D printed pieces. So we started off with wheel covers. We also did some custom number plates for the bike. Also a center console here for controls. The Molly panel itself is a cool way to fill the big void within the frame and be able to add modular bags and accessories. I'm really happy with the end result. Hey Raul, we got a surprise for you. Go ahead and uh, check it out. Take a look. Yeah. Oh! What? Dude, it's amazing. Dude, look at this. <laughs> Flip up that red switch and then press that. This is kind of our way to say like, hey, we're excited to see where you're going next and uh, we're with you every step of the way.